all right so welcome to today's talk and i am continuing my series on boric and i hope you guys are studying and i hope you guys are making major use of the time and i hope that uh, you also trying to find some time to on yourself where your eating habits are good and you're doing some kind of exercise i hope you're le- trying to learn a new language okay so let's come to the remedy for today quassia quassia is um, picrena excelsa quassia wood what is it mainly known for it's it's a very well known gastric tonic but what is it the thing that i want to tell you about it is that in in cases of liver cirrhosis with ascites or fatty liver very important remedy there is a lot of dyspepsia regurgitation tongue could be dry and very importantly there is acidity or dyspepsia after infection is so very important gastroenteritis urinary also very important um they they feel like passing stool very often and uh, excessive desire about especially about urine and as soon as the child wakes up the body, bed is drenched so it's like a involuntary urination very important for cataract and amblyopia as well typically it's a liver remedy though that you should know finally it's a very important there's a lot of cold sensation in the lower extremity yeah so this is quassia more or less let's go to the next one uh, aspidosperma i'm not talking about because i've already spoken to you corcus also i've spoken to you kulia so bark this is the one very interesting remedy for most effective in beginning of coryza with sore throat and dryness of throat very interesting remedy quillia <laughs> little bit like natremure it's also in natremure it's most effective in beginning of sneezing hmm? saponaria also you can see here saponaria but in saponaria urination also issue let's go to the next um, Ranunculus acris I think it's a very important remedy Ranunculus acris has state of mind like pulsatilla and joint pain better by motion like rustox so it's a very interesting mixture there are many rubrics of this and complete repertory one should study them uh let's go to Ranunculus claretus also very important remedy in today's times but mainly used for pemphigus where a uh, huge huge blisters you will see a lot of blisters vesicular eruption with blisters makes the particle surrounding uh, sore but it's also very important for corns and corns especially with a boring stinging pain and um, especially when feet are hang down like phytolacca also a um, lot of tongue is mapped like taraxacum burning rawness it's a allergic form of remedy and uh, liver pathology also uh, pressure around the right rib also very well known there is a pain behind the xiphoid process integument sensitive so it's a very important remedy for intercostal muscle pains cartilage pains this is ranunculus claretus we go to the next raphanus i think again you know more about it very interesting it's actually a remedy which is prepared from radish the main thing is lot of globus or lot of flatulence or obstructive symptoms in the stomach very important typically post operative gas symptoms hmm? uh it has a special action on liver spleen obviously when the gas or flatulence is involved but it's also very hysterical remedy with very very many many sexual symptom typically sexual insomnia uh especially females have aversion towards girl children there's a kind of a sexual uh what you can say conflict happening uh a lot of nymphomania with profuse menses nervous irritation of genitals a sexual insomnia due to sex um a lot of burning in the epigastrium followed by eructations tympanitis obstructive flatulence it can't go up it can't go down like pad like swelling of the intestine retching vomiting um gas goes up so it's it's totally a flatulent and obstructive flatulent remedy 
lump like sensation momodica but it's more left sided momodica balsamnia also should be compared with it finally last remedy for today ratania mapeto it's a remedy we use very often but interestingly it's a very important remedy for hiccups you know we know it for piles and fisher i think small kids give this remedy for piles and fisher but you should know how to give it <coughs> three four things i want to tell you it's a very important remedy for violent hiccough when hyoscyamus fails it's a very important remedy for pterygium along with zincum and cyclamen and cracked nipples so there is a lot of cracks not just in the uh, uh, rectum area but also in so lot of burning constrictive knife like they will say like light knife like stitches whenever stitches goes up in the rectum think of ignatia fissure of anus constriction burning uh, oozing at the anus um, lot of itching as well burning like fire like kalika knife like the ratania has to say that as a kuch chub raha as if something is stitching as if yeah bursting in the head after stool when sitting bent forward we should always compare with it sanguinaria nitrica disease of the rectum croton rectal neuralgia mucous appearance dolicos has lot of burning itching as well so this is ratania i hope you finding this interesting i haven't eat, done anything since morning except for reading homeopathy and i think um, yeah so you have to tell me what are you doing now in your quarantine 